Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Raw Politics. I hope you are fine wherever you are. I'm also okay. The United States did their elections on 5th and Donald John Trump has won the elections decisively. What we want to answer is, what is the main reason why Kamala Harris lost the election to Trump? There may be many issues here and there, but what is this single reason that made American voters say, no, we'd rather be with Donald Trump? If that is something you are interested in, I urge you to stay tuned. And if you are watching for the first time, please take a moment and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss upcoming videos. Otherwise, let's just answer this question. If you asked me the one reason why Kamala Harris lost the election was because she was fake. Now, before you walk out in protest, let's say you are a supporter of Kamala Harris, let me explain why I believe she was fake. You see, electorates want to associate with views, however outrageous they are. That is what democracy is all about anyway. I bring my views, I get support for those, another person has their views, and they have a bunch of people supporting them for those. Divergent views. That is how elections are decided. So, in the U.S., the Republicans have what they believe in. The Democrats have something they believe in. And so there are people who like what Democrats uh, believe in, and so they identify as Democrats. And there are people who like what Republicans believe in, and so they identify as Republicans. Then we have independents, people who are neither Democrats nor uh, Republicans. But in most cases, every independent you meet is always just a liberal, not registered as a Democrat. But mostly they are leaning Democrat. You can ask those who live there. Most of the independents are always leaning Democrat. So technically, you just have the two. You just have the conservatives and the liberals, the Republicans and the Democrats. Being an in-between doesn't work for the voters. And that is what Kamala Harris decided to do in the 170 days she had to campaign. Because there are things that Kamala Harris has believed in throughout her political career. And people have followed her throughout that political career. Because she's not somebody who just got into politics recently. She's been an attorney general somewhere. She has been a senator. And so this is, and she's been a vice president. So this is somebody who has very strong beliefs on certain things. And the voters who associate with her, associated with her because of such shared beliefs. But when Kamala got into, when Kamala was handed over this ticket, she decided to change her belief entirely. Initially, she didn't believe in fracking. She didn't want America to drill their own oil. Now she was really pro-fracking. Everything that Kamala Harris had said she believed in over the years, she changed those without shame, with the hope that she was now going to appeal to the voters. Why would Kamala change her views? Because she learned that her position was a ridiculous one. You see, when your main agenda is coming up with laws that allow men to participate in women's sport, automatically and eventually, even members of the Democratic uh, Party will start having doubts. And that is why you saw people who, Hispanics and others, and even the blacks, who are now like, no, 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 no. This is not what we bargained for. And so Kamala, to appeal to these dissenting voices, changed their policies. And that made her fake. That is why it was impossible for Kamala Harris to explain her policies. You would ask her a question, she would give you the stories of, I was born in a middle class, 
she would be one day I, uh, an Indian in a cooking show explaining how she likes her Indian recipe. Another day she is in a black church uh, using the southern accent preaching. So, so she just became fake. She was like trying everything that would make voters not see who she really was. In fact, it was even interesting. If you follow the American politics, you would be really amused. In Pennsylvania, where she knew there were Jewish, uh, there was there was some Jewish population. She had an advertisement that was supporting the war in Gaza. But in Michigan, where there is a sizable Muslim population, she had an ad that was condemning the war in Gaza. Can you imagine that type of duplicity, ladies and gentlemen? That a single candidate is pandering to different demographics using different ads. So if if uh, if, if you are to bring it back to let's say uh, Kenya, eh? you don't have a, a specific position on a subject. If you are in Mount Kenya, one man, one vote, one shilling. If you are in Dunyanza, that is a wonder, uh, a wrong thing. How can you do that? That is going to create marginalization. We are preaching equality. So that is what Kamala did. She was fake from day one to the last day of her campaign. She never confronted the voters and just said, okay, this is who I am. If you like this, this is what you are getting. She decided to uh, marinate herself, turn herself into something she believed the voters would accept. And the voters could see through her. That is why you would find a lot of people mocking her. And it didn't matter who endorsed uh, Kamala because she had the, the, the highest level of endorsement. Uh, she had more money than Trump in the campaign. But they never turned into votes that counted. Kamala Harris lost both the popular vote and the electoral vote. And get this. There is nowhere she got more votes than Biden got in the last election. So she did not outperform Biden anywhere in the entire country. There are, there, is, there are no people who said, oh, we are going to die with Kamala. Why? Because she was fake. I know that sounds harsh, but I can tell you that sums the reason why Kamala was not elected. It has nothing to do with misogyny that people didn't like a woman. Come on, how did she find herself even as the, the vice president? It's not as if people are still in that era where if it is a matter of uh, choosing between a man and a woman, then they would go for a man. No. It is a matter of, are you real with the voters? And the voters were asking themselves, are we better under Biden, which Harris was part of from day one, or were we better under Trump? And instead of telling people that I know we have messed this and this and this and this, but we are willing to fix, Aris would insist that they have not done anything wrong, that their policies are okay, and that whatever Biden was doing is what she will continue doing. But then, sensing that that was not appealing, she now started changing her policies on interviews. She goes to an interview and she is now believing in oil. She is now this. And people could see through that fakeness, okay, and rejected her at the poll. And it was, a, it, it was a serious rejection. Because remember, Trump flipped almost all. Yes, Trump flipped almost all the battleground. They all went for Trump. And the majority of the independents voted for Trump. Not because they liked him. He was real. Harris, on the other side, was very fake. Extremely fake. She insisted on being somebody she was not. That is why she couldn't, as I told you, she couldn't articulate any issue. You would ask her something, she would give you a deflection that didn't even make sense. To the point that even her own people, even on, on, on the mainstream media, would be like, please, uh, stay on point. Even when uh, on a town hall, she would be asked about the border. You said the border was stupid. Now you are saying you are going to allocate money to build the border. What is that? So people didn't like that 
uh, hypocrisy, that fakeness, that duplicity. And Trump was offering the opposite. He was like, as real as they come, this is what I will do. I will stop this. I will stop this. I will deport these people, however unpopular it is. But he was real. And people were like, we are safer with somebody who is telling us what he's going to do than another one who is lying to get our vote. Because what people gathered was Harris was willing to do everything, was willing to be anything to get the votes. And such, ladies and gentlemen, uh, could not go unchecked by the American voters. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, drop a like. And also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please uh, consider subscribing. Otherwise, let me know your views on the just concluded American election and let's meet in the next video.